Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vina, and today I'll be showing you how to create this pink cut crease look in partnership with Moody Lenses. They offer a variety of comfortable styles, and remember to watch till the end where I do a lens swatch for you guys. For now, let's get started on the tutorial. I'm gonna first use these toner pads by Skin Food and leave them on my cheeks for like 10 minutes. While that's sitting, I'm gonna put in my contacts. I like using the suction cup and tweezers to put in my contacts because I usually have like makeup or like dust on my fingers. When putting on your contacts, you wanna make sure your contacts aren't curling out like this, like it's inverted. You wanna make sure it looks like this. And if I compare it side to side, you can tell like which one looks wrong and it's pretty obvious if you check. And this is how it looks with and without contacts. You can see it just made my eyes a little bigger and it's also purple. I really like how it's purple, but yet yeah, it's not too crazy looking and it just gives me a very nice look. After the toner pads, I'm gonna use this serum on top. This Clio cushion has been really popular lately and I wanted to try it out. And you can see when I first put it on, I thought it would be like way too dark on me, but once I blended it out, it like looked fine. I think this is a good cushion if you have dry skin like me because it doesn't cling onto dry patches or anything and it doesn't dry out my skin. Here's the before and after. It has really nice coverage and it's also really glowy. I also like how the cushion has a point so you can really get into the corners. A tip I like to use to get more coverage is to let the concealer dry for a minute before blending it out because then it will have a thicker consistency and then it will give me more coverage. I got this super cute cat paw cushion and it's so cute. I love it. I really want the Clio X like cat collection thing but I didn't get it yet. The cushion was cute and all, but I ended up switching to a beauty blender because I couldn't get in the corners. So, beauty blenders are still the best. I want a little more coverage on my dark circle, so I'm going to add a second layer and then blend it out with my fingers. I love how my base is so dewy right now. Now using the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set my base. Dusting off the excess using a big fluffy brush and also setting the rest of my base. This is how my base looks after setting. For eyeshadow, I'm going to start with this brown all over my lid and also bring it under my eyes. I am going to use this dark purple shade as my eyeliner, just sketching it out and using concealer and q-tips to clean it up as I go. I darken the eyeliner by really packing in the pigment. I am also going to draw a line under my eyes, starting at the center of my pupils and ending it around the end of my crease. I'm going to go ahead and blend the line out. Using the same shade, I'm going to sketch out my half cut crease and blending it out, it low-key looks like I have a black eye but once you cut the crease, it'll look fine like I promise because I was a little scared too. Now I'm just cutting my crease with the same concealer I used earlier. Make sure when you're cutting your crease, you want to bring the cut crease out next to your inner corner so it's like a quote-unquote open circle. Using my fingers to blend the edge of the cut crease and then I'm going to use a q-tip to wipe off the excess concealer. Setting the concealer with this pale pink shade. Going in with that purple shade again to darken my crease and also blend it out a little bit. Now using this pink shimmer shade, I'm going to put it on the center of my lids. This shade, you really need to layer it because it was literally giving no pigment. 
but once I layered this dual chrome pink on top of it, it just looks so much better and prettier and more sparkly. I love it. Look at it, it's so pretty. Now I'm going to blend this brown on my outer corner. For my Ego Star, I'm using this Cam Make Shade Liner. Then mixing these two shades to blend it out. Now I'm going to layer glitters starting with this Cam Make Jewel Shadow Veil, then adding a chunkier glitter from the Unleashia palette on top of that. Then topping it off with this Peri Para Glitter Duo palette on the Ego Slayer and also on the center of my lids. I'm curling my top and bottom lashes with the Shiseido Lash Curler. I tried the Kill Lash Mascara by Clio for the first time today and overall I still think I like the Heroin Make one better. I may be a little biased but I think the Heroin Make one is a little more um, lengthening than this one but both do keep my curl up really well. Now I'm going to use this felt tip liner to tight line my lash line. For blush, I try to focus it under my eyes and blending it into my eyeshadow. Lately, I've been loving this Clio highlighter. I think it just gives off the perfect glow and I love the shade of pink. And of course, I'm going to use my favorite Roman lip tint all over my lips. And then I'm going to go in with my Daisic lip tint on the center of my lips. The Daisic lip tints are a little brighter, so I like to use them just on the center and not all over. And I'm going to also put a dot on my Cupid's bow because I think it makes my lips a little bigger or like the 3D effect. Just tapping it in after I put it on. I forgot to contour my face earlier, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm using the Misha Cotton Contour. I'm not the biggest on contour because I don't think I'm like the best at it. But hopefully there's like a difference, a big enough difference. So I'm not doing this for nothing. Now onto the lens swatches. Moody Lenses offers a variety of comfortable prescription or non-prescription daily, monthly, quarterly, half yearly, and yearly contacts. From natural looking to more colorfully fun and enlarging contacts all depending on your mood or makeup look. These lilac blue lenses have a solid edge line but they also have a blurred edge outside of that which gives me a less harsh but softer look. You can easily pull these off every day as it's not too bright. These mulberry black lenses have a solid edge line that obviously enlargens your eyes. If you like black enlargening contacts, you should try these. Next are these warm pumpkin brown lenses from the He Doesn't Know collection. These have an edge line that are fuzzy so it blends softly into your eyes, not as harsh as the previous style Magic Mirror. I prefer lenses like this with a softer edge line. Similar to the previous style, I have these velvet gray lenses. These are the best seller and they have the same pattern as the pumpkin silky lenses. These are perfect for everyday use. I personally like cooler tone contacts so I would go for these but if you like warmer tones, go for a pumpkin silky. Remember to use my discount code Vivina20 at checkout. You can get 20% off all color contacts at moodylenses.com. I'll leave the links to the lenses I use in the description box as well as my code. Save your coins, y'all, and use my code Vivina20. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'll leave all the product details in the description box. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!